So now the Mark Music Top 10 from 1979. But just a note, on the 1981, uh, I had some real problems with uh, trying to remember Chrissy Hind, the lead singer of The Pretenders. Sorry, Chrissy. Anyway, to 1979, for many, the best decade in rock music. I'm not so sure about that, but there's certainly some terrific stuff. And in 1979, at number 10, was Rogue Waves by Terry Reid. Terry was an acquired taste of mine, but I'm glad I stuck with him. There's some excellent stuff on this. Remember, he was the guy that turned down the opportunity to be in Led Zeppelin. Um, I think he made a wise choice. On Rogue Waves, he does some covers. All I have to do is dream walk away Renee and rogue waves are the best cuts at number nine is London Calling by The Clash of course this is a double album and for many who consider this to be the best I have to confess that it took me a long time to get into this album uh, I have wasn't really a Clash fan it finally uh, broke through so to speak into my psyche and I'm very pleased it did. The highlights, apart from the title track, Spanish Bombs, with Strummer sounding really desperate, Train in Vain and Guns in Brixton. At number eight is Damn the Petit Torpedoes, Tom Petty. I do believe that this was a solo album, but as far as I'm concerned, it was him with the Heartbreakers, it, on at least... Uh, most of the tracks uh, some tremendous stuff on this here comes my girl and refugee two standout singles come to mind at number seven joe jackson i'm the man this was the second joe jackson album in a very short space of time and it is a cracker um it's really punk rockish um with a lot of style the man knows how to sing and his storytelling is great. And of course, let's not forget, he can play a mean piano. Geraldine and John, It's Different for Girls, which was a, a, a strong hit in the pop charts, uh, are two that come to mind. But I really like Kind of Cute, which is a really funky shuffle sort of song. At six... Armed Forces by Elvis Costello. This is when Elvis became apolitical. All the uh, uh, anti-fascist stuff came through, particularly with Oliver's army. And uh, Accidents Will Happen was a standout sin single. I also like Party Girl. At five, Setting Suns by The Jam. Uh, I was really into The Jam at this time. Uh, Weller was starting to make me tick and the, strong, the songs were getting more and more adventurous with it, but still staying with the original punk mod look. The Eaton Rifles, terrific single and I like Private Hell. At four is the debut album by the Joy Division called Unknown Pleasures. Uh, this is um, an album that uh, will haunt me forever. Um, the style of music was uh, quite unusual to say the least and it was morbid, depressive but exhilarating. Uh, Shadow Play, New Dawn Fades, Day of the Lords. Who can ever forget those vocals from Ian Curtis? Makes you shiver just thinking about it. And at number three, we've got Fear of Music by Talking Heads. Br Br Burn really took risks on this, right from the world music star. Uh, um, and that track, what was it called? Can't remember. But uh, Life During Wartime, Heaven, Mind, Drugs all absolute classics 
and it helped if you had a little bit of the old hmm, special tobacco when you were listening to this talk about hypnotic at number two it's the wall by pink floyd uh okay i had to put it in there uh the problem is with the wall is you tend to play it to death but it still remains an, an enormous piece of work by Walters and the gang. Uh, some of the uh, tracks are unbelievably good. Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, of course, was a hot single, that beautiful video in the school, and Comfortably Numb. Of course, there are the politics associated with this album, I won't dwell on those too much at the moment. Right, so what did I choose as number one? Well, Bop Till You Drop by Roy Kuda. Uh, you've got to like Roy Kuda to appreciate this, but because he has such a variety of sounds, he can do Tex-Mex, he can do blues, he can do... Uh, uh, country rock he can do soul you name it new orleans jazz he is the guy and this album captured it all in an essence bop till you drop that's what you do when you listen to Ry kuda and it's my number one for 1979 